Okay, LA Golf sent us two different shafts. For the purpose of this video, we've got two Scotty Cameron Newport 2s. They're both 35 inches, it's the exact same putter. That's what we're gonna put the shafts in so I can get an idea of what I wanna put in my Tyson Lamb. Let's go hit some putts. What's up golfers, welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today we're at Modern Golf in Calgary, Alberta. In watching the PGA Tour this year, I've seen a handful of PGA Touring Pros using a graphite putter shaft. Well, it turns out that that company is LA Golf. We reached out to LA Golf to see if we could get our hands on some putter shafts. Thankfully, they sent us a couple graphite putter shafts and they have two different options. So some notable players on the PGA Tour using these LA Golf TPZ shafts would be Dustin Johnson, Ricky Fowler, Bryson DeChambeau, Kevin Na. He was probably the first one that I saw who had a white putter shaft. And it's just cool to see the PGA Tour players using their stuff. And now we're able to review it and try it out for our channel. Okay, if you guys have seen my what's in the bag video, you know that I play a Tyson Lamb Bridgeport putter. It's a blade style putter with a plumber neck. So it's got a little bit of offset. And for the purpose of this video, we've got two Scotty Cameron Newport 2s. They're both 35 inches. It's the exact same putter. That's what we're gonna put the shafts in so I can get an idea of what I wanna put in my Tyson Lamb. The Scotty Camerons were the closest shape and weight to my Tyson Lamb. So this way I can get a real idea of rolling that shaft to figure out which one I'm gonna put in the Tyson Lamb. Let me go grab those Scotty Camerons. Okay, LA Golf sent us two different shafts. This black one here is the TPZ-105, and the white one is the TPZ-135. So I just wanted to note that these putter shafts replace a straight steel shaft. So you can see this Newport 2 has a plumber's neck where the shaft goes into the hosel. These shafts aren't for putters that go straight into the head. So if you're considering getting one of these shafts, you just need to know that it replaces a straight shaft, which will go into a hosel. So looking at the two putter shafts, they come in two options. So both the 105 and the 135 come in either white or black. And we hooked them up just so you can see the differences of what they look like. And then so you can differentiate the 135 and the 105. In holding them, the first looks, right away I noticed that the 135 looks to have a little thicker diameter or a little more girth, if you will, where the 105 looks more like the same size as a traditional steel shaft. But looking down at both of them, I can definitely tell that the 135 is just thicker. So I don't know if in my head I'm thinking that it's a heavier shaft versus a lighter shaft, but the biggest difference that I notice is that looking at them side by side, it is just a little bit thicker. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roll some putts in a series of putts just to get an idea of how they feel off the face and realistically, which one's going in the hole more often because that's the whole point of putting. So let's roll some of these and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna determine which shaft goes my Tyson Lamb. So let's go hit some putts. Okay, the first shaft I'm gonna be rolling is the TPZ-105. Again, it's on that Scotty Cameron Newport 2, which is just like my Tyson Lamb bridge port. And right now I'm looking at about a 30 foot putt. Oh, it just slipped out. First thoughts, taking it back very steady. And that's what LA Golf is saying. And that on these long ones, the extra stiff shaft is gonna keep it more stable and it's not gonna vary as much. Let's give it another roll here. Feels very smooth off the face too. I'm hitting my target line. I don't feel much shake, definitely no jitters or no yips. Um, aesthetically, it looks very nice. It's obviously black is a very neutral color. Nice to look down to. And uh, third putt, let's see. Feels really good. Uh, my dispersion has been within probably a foot and a half of the hole and it feels really good. So now what I'll do is I'll do the exact same putt, this 30 footer with the 135. So the TPZ-135 has already seen multiple tour wins and it even holds the record for the most distance of putt made in a single tournament. When Ricky Fowler got his hands on it, he offered some suggestions like a similar diameter that's closer to a stock steel shaft along with something lighter in weight. 
And just like that, the TPZ105 was born. The performance and the feel of the shafts are very similar. However, it's kind of up to the player's personal preference of weight and balance. That's gonna determine the right shaft for them, or in this case, me. Okay, we got the 135 again. This is the wider diameter, so I can definitely notice looking at the hosel that it's just like fractions of an inch thicker. Um, kind of impartial, I think I prefer the look of the smaller diameter. Let's give it a roll. Really good um, feedback off of the face. That one felt just a slight toey and I had really good feedback, but it kind of held my line. So, so far, so good. Oh, that's the first putt. So out of, I think I've rolled four or five putts, that's the first putt I've rolled short. So far in those first couple putts, you know, putting is so personal, right? You could use a blade, a mallet. There's so many differences in putting already and just rolling those first two putts, I think I prefer the feel of the 105. Let's give it one more roll just to be certain. Yeah, so that one's rolling pretty good. It was closer to the hole, but I think overall and just softness and feel, I really prefer the feel of the 105, which is so interesting. Again, I wouldn't know just looking at the two off the rack, which I prefer. I'm so glad I came in here and our club fitter was able to give us both shaft options. So, so far I'm leaning towards the 105. I'll do a couple more putts and just confirm that that's the shaft I wanna put into my Tyson Lamb. All right, one of the things I got the club fitter to check is the swing weight. So the swing weight with the standard steel shaft was a D7. When you put the graphite on, both of these shafts uh, weighed in at a D5. So in holding them, they don't feel any different. So even though I know the swing weight is different, they, they feel very similar. And I just assumed that the 135 would come out heavier. To me, the biggest difference is the visuals, that the 135 is thicker or the 135 is a little thinner. And I think that's what Ricky Fowler was uh, talking about to make it look more like a standard steel shaft. But overall, I think because the 135 looks thicker, I assume it's heavier, but holding both of them, they feel very similarly weighted. So the retail price on these LA Golf TPC putter shafts is $419 US. That might sound like a ton for a putter shaft, but I'm gonna put it into perspective. If you've seen our driver fitting video, stock drivers start at like 600 bucks and the shaft options go up to as high as seven, $800. So you're looking at over a thousand bucks for a club on a driver that maybe you use only 70% of golf holes, a putter you're using on every single hole, like without question, unless you fluke out and chip one in or something, you're always gonna use your putter. So. LA Golf has created an option to make your putting better. Okay, so this is a normal putting drill that I would do before my round just to get a feel for some short to mid-range putts. I'm not super concerned with making them. I really just wanna feel how the putter is reacting off of the face. Um, so far, those two short ones felt um, awesome. Feeling really good off the face. I'm getting awesome feedback. And I, I really think that I'm making more centered strokes than normal. Oh, pulled that one a bit. All right, out of all those putts, they felt really good. I'm confident in putting in this shaft into my Tyson Lamb. So in wrapping up this video, I'm 100% thrilled with the TPZ shafts. They feel fantastic. And I'm gonna put this exact shaft into my Tyson Lamb head. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a like if you're new to the channel. Leave us a comment if you wanna ask any questions. I'm happy to respond to all of you. Thanks again for supporting the channel. We'll check in with you next time.